Welcome back here with us on Urban Debate on Mirror Now. On Urban Debate at 9, our focus is on Maharashtra. The Mahavikas Agari government is consulting experts to drop the mask mandate. Maharashtra's Health Minister Rajesh Tope has said that the government has sought information from central and state COVID task forces on the measures to be adopted to make the state mask free. Now, this is coming at a time when Mumbai's test positivity rate has dropped to just 1% after touching 25% during the third wave recently. Mumbai today, in fact, has zero containment zones. That also seems to be giving confidence to the government to even consider going mask-free. However, Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar has said that there has been no such discussion regarding making Maharashtra mask-free. But the Health Minister had something else to say. There are a few countries' viewers today who have decided to drop the mask mandate. For example, China, New Zealand, Italy today are mask free so mask is not required in these countries if you are fully vaccinated you can uh, you know carefully just you can just leave your mask at home conveniently and step out of your homes if you're in China New Zealand or Italy in the US fully vaccinated people can leave the masks at home in UK you can go to certain places without masks in Sweden, during non-peak hours, you can keep your masks in your bags. And uh, in fact, in June last year, Israel had to reintroduce the requirement to wear masks indoors amid a spike in COVID cases. So that's how the situation is around the world as far as the mask mandate is concerned. And just days after Israel lifted uh, the restriction uh, or this mask mandate, it had to bring it back again because of the sudden spike in cases there. So an urban debate tonight, we will try to find out is it wise to consider dropping mask mandate in Maharashtra, given the current circumstances there? You can call us too and share with us what you feel about this particular uh, uh, decision or rather proposal that Mahavikas Aghadi government is uh, considering. Uh, Dr. Subhar Salunke, Senior Advisor, Public Health Foundation of India and National Member COVID-19 Task Force is joining us live this evening. Dr. Ishwar Gilada, Infectious Disease Expert, is live with us. We're also joined by Dr. Samir Dalvai, NCP spokesperson and pediatrician. Uh, we have with us Gobardhan Das, who is an immunologist and professor of molecular medicine at JNU. Appreciate all of you uh, joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now this evening. Uh, Dr. Samir Dalvai, I want to begin the discussion with you. The health minister says the government is considering that if mask mandate can be dropped for people of Maharashtra. The deputy chief minister, however, came out and said that there's no such proposal, nothing of this sort has been considered. Who do we believe? Uh, well, good evening. <clears throat> well, good evening. And for the record, absolutely there is no such proposal right now or nothing on the cards right now to indicate take, doing away with the masks at all. And the health minister has clarified very clearly that he's not talking about any such thing at the moment. Sure enough, when we look at the roads outside and now especially looking at children and their parents on the road going to school, there is a very good feeling about normalcy almost after two years of being locked in and uh, well, an abnormal, uncertain situation. So I'm sure all of us are feeling very positive and very confident to go ahead. But certainly it's not the time yet to do away with the mask. And there is no such proposal being entertained by the state government as of now. Any news to this effect is, I must say, uh, probably a misquote or not really something which represents the government and the health ministries to true stand in Maharashtra. As you know, the pandemic is not entirely over. We cannot let down our guard yet. The ICMR and all the other bodies, the National Task Force, the State Pediatric Task Force, they are the ones who will come out with the scientific guidelines. And the ministry in Maharashtra, as we are aware, has not done anything outside scientific guidelines. So Sir, now, but we were only quoting what the say, state health minister had said that, uh, you know, he said, and I quote, in the recent cabinet meeting, we discussed making the state mask free. Several countries such as the UK have finally asked their citizens to stop wearing masks. We have requested the central and the state task forces to provide us with the information on how they achieved it. So maybe not immediately, but, you know, that's the thought that the government has right now. And that's why we want to understand from you all whether... It will be wise for a state like Maharashtra to drop this mask mandate. What is your view? You're a doctor too. Uh, what is your view? Is it the right time or do you think we still need to be very, very cautious? Since you spoke about uh, that, you know, there's a feeling of normalcy that you're seeing. No, I absolutely feel we should continue with the mask 
social distancing and sanitation the sms at the okay. moment there's no doubt about Okay, Govardhan Das, where do you stand on this particular issue? Is it wise to even consider uh, dropping this mask mandate? So, good evening. Actually, what I believe, I can, uh, you know, speak only uh, in scientifically what I feel. See, this is a uh, uh, number of COVID cases is uh, dramatically going down. In fact, what I believe the third wave is mostly by the Omicron, which is highly contagious but uh, less sinful. And if you look at the today, the in Mumbai has done 367 cases, and the, I think uh, we have, we may follow the like other countries like UK, uh, Italy, France. Uh, they, uh, you know, uh, they are now go for without mask. And in fact, I think we should also uh, uh, con consider, uh, you know, um, removing mask, especially those who are fully vaccinated and do not have comorbidity. So basically, it's a phase-wise. I uh, believe we should uh, start, you know, removing our masks slowly by in the phase-wise, especially those who are do not have the comorbidity okay. and fully vaccinated. Okay, over to Fully you. vaccinated people with no comorbidities, uh, these can be considered uh, uh, and phase-wise dropping of masks is what you think should really now begin happening. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Salunke, where do you stand on this entire uh, issue uh, given how other countries are uh, looking at this particular issue? Do you think uh, states like Maharashtra can take the liberty of uh, dropping this mandate, mask mandate? I think we have to appreciate that we are still in the pandemic, number one. Number two, the initial comments mm -hmm. that you made mm -hmm. are very, very important one. You know, other countries where the vaccination status is beyond 80%, both the doses, other countries where the demography is different, health systems are different, where the problems are different, we are talking about a country of size of India and Maharashtra with 12 crore plus population is bigger than many countries. So we have a very peculiar situation. Mm. Only because Mumbai is showing a declining trend or only because some of the cities in Maharashtra are showing declining trend, we will not be able to come to the conclusion that, okay, everything is going honky-dory or we are absolutely in a very safe situation. No way, sir. 55,000, 60,000 active cases are still there. Hardly 60% population is immunized or vaccinated with two doses. We are still youngsters, not fully immunized. So we have still many you know, factors or parameters that do not allow us to lower our guard. This is first and foremost of importance. Number okay. two, when Honorable okay. Health Minister made the statement, he, if I, mean, I haven't heard his statement in person, so this is what is being quoted. But definitely, one thing is true that you know people will feel more comfortable if they get a feel or if they get an indication that things are improving. But that feel good will come only if hmm. the epidemiological parameters are hmm. giving us that kind of a pleasure and satisfaction, which is not at this juncture. And what he has stated okay. very clearly, that we will, we will seek the inputs from experts, we will seek the inputs from science. It has to be based on the science, not because it is a hmm. feel good or not because some people are saying, or not because it is only in Mumbai or some urban areas, certainly not. So at this juncture, there is absolutely no question of removing or dropping the idea of mask hmm. as a policy. Definitely not. As a matter of fact, I am of the okay. opinion even if we get this condition into turning into an from pandemic to endemicity, still the role of mask is very important hmm. from public health perspective. I'm not going to agree. In that fact, I was going to come to that only, Dr. Salunke, because I remember last time when you were on my show, I had asked a direct question, will this uh, pandemic ever be over? Will we ever will have be. a life wherein yeah. we don't have to wear the mask or... No, that is not going to be there. Please remember, this pandemic, and mark my word, best if there will be no further virulent strains coming, if there will be no further, you know, strains which will have a high transmissibility by June, 
globally we are hmm. expecting that this could turn into an endemic kind of an virus or endemic strains but those okay. two important okay. issues virulence and transmissibility if we don't get that hmm. this will become definitely a endemic hmm. situation by june still i'm saying i'm making a very okay. concrete statement still still, still use of masks right. is going to be very helpful from public health perspective so do not So Do even if it think. becomes an endemic kind of a situation, we can't afford to, uh, you know, uh, remove this mandate uh, uh, for wearing mask at public places. That's your point of view, uh, Doctor Ishwar Gilada. What is your opinion? What is your opinion given the current uh, situation in Mumbai specifically? For example, there is no containment zone today. Mumbai has managed to achieve that. The positivity rate has come down to one percent from about twenty-five percent. It was the worst affected city during the third wave in the first phase itself, and then we had a uh, situation uh, getting grim in Delhi, and then it spread to other cities too. But now, the way it has managed to control the situation, do you think it's right to even consider dropping the mask mandate? Hina, it's my pleasure to be with you on the show, or many times I was on your show. Uh, first and foremost, when we talk about SMS, in that SMS, sanitizer, whether you are using or not, nobody sees. Social distancing is not possible in most circumstances. Yes. Only thing is possible is masking, and masking and vaccination they are directly proportional to the number of cases going up or down. So, uh, if the cases are going down, people are they were going to be lax. We have seen vaccine hesitancy, which is a relative hesitancy. So anyway, when people are going to be lax, we should not have any such mandate because to uh, make people uh, habitual to use mask, it took us two years. Uh, still, hardly 50%, 40%, 60% people wear mask. And when you have such kind of weird statements, which make people uh, become lax, that is going to be a very uh, a, a bad scenario. Uh, everything else can be down, all guards can be down, but mask should be up. And what are you losing by using mask? In fact, you are gaining. A uh, lot of infections are less. Uh, problem related to uh, uh, what do you call uh, pollutions are less. Infections are less. And we have seen that happening in in the science. So I think for some time, maybe a month, two month, three month, till we have uh, less than five thousand, ten thousand cases in the entire country. I think masking is very important, and we should not speak at all. But we should not trouble people because we have seen sometime. a uh, police people troubling a somebody driving a car alone and asking him you are not wearing mask so i think even high courts have given this kind of judgments that you cannot trouble people like that so don't trouble people uh, allow lot of activities to open up don't have these guidelines kind 50% what is nonsense 50% you go to five star hotel they are already socially distanced you are making them making 50% and then authorities go there and trouble them and i have seen in my uh, with my own eyes uh, sitting there And capacity was less than 50 percent. Six people come from authority, and then they say count people and asking uh, to count them also. So you, this hmm. kind of harassment that should stop. So we, it should be people friendly policies, and we hmm. should ha- ask people what they want. But masking, uh, let it be voluntary, but don't give a hmm. statement that uh, masking. Uh, you, uh, Maharashtra can be mask free state. What are you going to achieve? We cannot compare ourselves with UK or many other countries. In UK, mask is out because uh, prime minister was caught dancing somewhere and uh, having restriction at other places. People were asking prime minister to be removed, and then he said, "Do whatever you want." So every country has different circumstances by hmm. which they are making such statement and policies. Our country is different, as Dr. Salunke said. He is my teacher. I respect him. That we should uh, have a, a demography in mind. We should have the uh, complexities in mind. our people i have some patient who have come they are not taken vaccine but they have certificate i said how, how did you get that and when you require vaccine how will you get it no mm. sir hamare paas do id card hai deke le lenge and if we have a policy of those who have been uh, vaccinated mm. they cannot be they need not wear mask there are all uh, all sort of people so i think we should have a very clear guideline and masking should but be but sir up. but dr gilada we have also seen you know at least in say rural parts of the country that uh, you know i have visited in the last few months nobody believes in masks at all nobody mm-hmm. is seen wearing mask mm-hmm. and you know people are there out in the markets at least in metros you know uh, police uh, officials are keeping a check because there are people who are not wearing the mask in big markets they are being penalized as well immediately they have to pay a fine of about 200 to 2000 rupees in different different cities but in the rural parts of the country it's not really being followed anywhere and they don't so believe I, in this no, mandate I, I, at I think, all I, i think as i told in the beginning only 
it is directly proportional to the number of cases. When the cases are up, whether you ask or you don't ask, people hmm. were using masks. They were not going out. They were all taking care of each other. When things are down, and we must thank the Omicron wave for doing that. Uh, it has not troubled people. It has not overwhelmed the system. It has okay. not killed the people. And probably it will be a, a variant of support. Rather but you're saying we need people-friendly policy and you made a very, very valid point and that's the reason why we are having this discussion today. We also want to understand what the people think about, uh, you know, what the health minister had said that can actually uh, a state like Maharashtra consider going mask-free given the current situation that it is in. Let's ask people also. And joining us on the broadcast is my first uh, uh, viewer. We have Professor Vipul joining us from Mumbai. Professor viewer, uh, Vipul, good evening. Thank you for joining us. What is your view? Uh, thank you uh, very much and good evening to everyone. I feel that this is um, not a right time to drop masks. Um, as, as one of the panelists rightly said, it took two years to, for us to have habituated, get habituated to masks. Mm -hmm. so talking about dropping the mask, I just want to ask them, do they have any guarantee that there won't be fourth wave? We already have heard about the Delta-Chrome mm -hmm. variant, combination of Delta and Omicron. If, if it is there on the horizon, we never know. And what kind of difficult situation that we have faced. Those decision makers uh, sitting in the AC cabin, let them visit the other uh, market in the morning and they will realize why the mask is important and necessary. Mm. We cannot play with the lives of people. Definitely it is not a time to mm. uh, go mask free. It has to be there. There is no, no doubt about that. There is no second thought about that. We must continue this. As one of the panelists rightly said, it also helps in uh, countering the pollution and uh, other right. issues related with um, asthma all and right. all those other problems. So I think this is not the right time. We must continue mask, right. wearing masks at least. Interesting point you've made, Professor Vipul. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on Urban Debate uh, and sharing with us your view. We have another viewer joining us from Mumbai. Ram Kishore is with us. Ram Kishore, good evening. Thank you for calling us here on Mirror Now. What is it that you would like to say? Uh, good evening to everyone. I'd like to ask this question to the senior person over there. Uh, he's asking us to wear the mask continuously even after uh, this is over. And uh, I'm really surprised. Because TB is probably the most uh, infectious and contagious disease. Mm -hmm. And about 450,000 people die every year in, in India. And this is not my statistics. This is WHO mm -hmm. statistics. So we should have been wearing masks right from our childhood. Correct. You are absolutely right. My okay, dear Ram Kishore, uh, yeah. thank you for calling us here on Times on Mirror Now. Yes. Uh, Dr. Salunke, yes. Yeah, I, I'm saying that I'm very happy. The response from the citizens are very positive one. And as he has stated uh, that, you know, because there, there are diseases like tuberculosis, other respiratory kind of viral diseases, we have so much of morbidity and mortality due to respiratory diseases. And if it is possible for us to inculcate use of masks, particularly when you are going to a place where they are very crowded, where there is improper ventilation. Look at the way this has been already adopted in some countries like Japan. So I feel they, uh, you know, the, this particular mm. pandemic has given us an opportunity to adopt some of the, you know, behavioral changes, which will be from the perspective of health, very positive ones. So it is not that uh, mask is something okay. which has to be, it has to be, you know, used as a punishment. But if we can motivate our people, educate our people, that wherever it is essential, you do use the mask. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I guarantee you, irrespective of whether this pandemic is going to be over or not, I will be using mask in the aircraft. Whenever okay. I'll be traveling in the aircraft, irrespective okay. of what status it is, it will very, very... Professor Das also wants us. to make a point. Professor Das, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, once again, good evening. See, this is... Um, uh, I made the point that uh, uh, dropping masks for the people, those who are having comorbidity and uh, fully vaccinated. I'm thinking about one thing. We are talking about all 
urban population, etc. But if you go to the countryside, those who are doing physical labor, those who are sweating, is how long it is possible to have the uh, keeping your mask. And then those who are having, uh, you know, uh, physical labor and those who are working continuously, how long it is possible to keep your mask? And I, the other, uh, the gentleman uh, made a point that yes, there are other infectious diseases like, you know, uh, tuberculosis. If you look at the tuberculosis in any, probably in Mumbai, probably more number of tuberculosis patients than, than the COVID patient. Today, the only COVID, the positive PD is in Mumbai itself is 367 out of 2.1 crore population. And uh, and I believe the third uh, wave is because of Omicron, which is certainly contagious, but not that, uh, uh, but much less sinful. So basically, this is the right time, slowly, phase-wise, probably we can drop mask. I mean, mask should not be used by okay, the laborers. Okay, this is the right time. Problem. We can drop um, mask. That's your view. No, okay, okay, Dr. Salunke, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll come to you in just a bit. In fact, sure, I have sure. two more uh, viewers with uh, me right now. Jason Fernandez, who's been waiting patiently from Mumbai, and Nanji from Mumbai. Jason Fernandez, to you first. Uh, thank you very much for calling us here on Mirror Now. What is it that you would like to say? Ma'am, I would like to ask the question, as uh, Sir said, that we should wear masks because there are lots of people in Mumbai. Mumbai is a hmm. crowded city. It is also a financial capital, okay, for this country. And if you roam without mask, okay, hmm. there are so many people in the schools, children in the schools who will go home, go to their grandparents, and most of the grandparents have some comorbidities. Even if they are not elderly, but other people also have comorbidities. So what is what is so sensible hmm. about making Mumbai mask free? Okay, and there are certain people, as you said, who don't wear masks. Okay. No, no such rural. decision, Jason, has been taken. No such decision has been taken. We are seeking views of the people because uh, the health minister had made a statement that this is something that the uh, you know government uh, uh, is going to consider seeing what's happening in the UK and other countries and how the situation is right now. So there is no such decision that the government has taken. Let me just clarify that for all our viewers. And here uh, we are trying to understand from experts whether it is wise to consider even dropping this mandate or not and we are seeking views from you the viewers as well uh, so that the government uh, can uh, you know take a decision at the right time but thank you for calling us here on mirror now this evening nanji is also joining us from mumbai this evening thank you very much nanji for joining us here on mirror now what is it that you would like to say i would like to say as a microbiologist myself that we should continue with the mask don't drop it at all we need to study how the movement goes. The minute any less number of cases come, the people come out in hordes, and then the thing starts all over again. So it would be much better to wait for some time, have a look at what is the reaction of the public and the staff and the various operators of vehicles and buses, see the passengers coming and then slowly phase it out. Don't do it at a jerk because you're going to get mm. into trouble. Everybody will be coming out on the road and it will be back to square one. So. Mm. All right. Thank you, Nanji. Appreciate you joining us here on Mirror Now this evening. Uh, Dr. Dalvai, uh, you know, the sense that we've got is that uh, most are of the view that uh, this mandate should not be dropped immediately. But like uh, Professor Das was mentioning earlier, that, you know, there can be an approach wherein phase-wise, uh, you know, we can begin dropping the mask probably in places where the situation is better. That's the view of the uh, viewer as well who called us just now. In your opinion, how should the government approach this particular issue? Should there be a benchmark as to, uh, you know, the positivity rate that can be looked at or for a few uh, days, if we do not see any new case, maybe then it can be considered? Honestly, I don't think it's the government's decision. It is a scientific decision and the government is informed by scientific bodies like the ICMR, the national and the state, uh, the task force and various other scientific organizations who would offer this advice based on evidence as our senior Dr. Salunke sir and Dr. Gilada sir have said. And I think that's how the governments must react to it. Only mm. and only 
the basis of firm scientific statistical evidence and not otherwise. This is not a decision to be taken in term in view of some public decision as such. It has to be a public health decision. I also would like to draw the attention that in the last few days, one of the most monumental things I'll use the word that we have done is having opened the schools, at least in Maharashtra. And that itself is such a mammoth task. I think the schools were shut for two years. And now the schools have reopened and children are going back to school, as somebody rightly mentioned from one of the viewers, that that itself is something that needs to be watched very carefully. We are watching it very carefully from the on basis of the pediatric state, pediatric COVID task force. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any problem coming out because of that. But for some time, we will have to have to have to look at what's happening because opening schools is a big decision. But unfortunately, and I'd like to highlight this on your show, so many schools are still worried and are doing some unscientific things like forcing parents and children to do RT-PCR or uh, rapid tests. And that is totally not mandated. I think we should focus our attention on what we are already doing. Having reopened the schools, I think we should get back to normalcy within the schools with the masks on. And once that is achieved, maybe after right. I don't know how long, okay. then we can scientific decision based on recommendations by valid scientific authorities. Thank you. Okay, so it should be one step at a time. Uh, Dr. Gilada, in your opinion, uh, how should the government really approach this particular issue uh, in Mumbai specifically? I will give you two things. Uh, one is mask. when we ask masking, masking is in public place, in crowded places. We are not asking you to mask when you are going to bathroom or when you are at home or when you are with your family members. Number two, uh, I have worked uh, uh, 35 years in HIV. When we started uh, putting barrier protection as condom, uh, it did not only protect uh, HIV, it protected a lot of STDs. <coughs> STDs went down tremendously. Same Correct. thing is happening in uh, COVID. Because of uh, masking, a lot of uh, infections which are uh, uh, respiratory bone infections or uh, allergen bone uh, condition, they are going down. And now, when HIV has been manageable, people are not using uh, condom, you are seeing a lot of STDs coming up. So, uh, we have seen to the East, uh, whether it's uh, Vietnam, China, Korea, uh, Japan, they have been using masks even two years before, three years before. At least 50% population at every time, wherever you go, they are masked. And what are they losing? Nothing. So, our important thing uh, to be looked after is uh, lives and livelihood, uh, children, education. Uh, those things we should concentrate. We should not give such kind of mandate, whether it should be Maharashtra, should be mask. What are you going to achieve? Will Maharashtra Bhagwa agenda or uh, uh, Maharashtra flag will go up very high if it is a mask free? I think these are all populist statements. We should not make such kind of statement that misguide people. And as it is, people are uh, vagabond. They don't want to hmm. be restricted at all. So I think we should go slowly. And masking is a public place. When you are walking in the ground, you are alone, you are with your wife, don't use mask. No, but nobody should be punished for not using masks. Hmm. So, Dr. Salunke, even the minister then in that sense avoid making, uh, avoid giving these kind of uh, statements, isn't it? Because uh, uh, as Dr. Gilara rightly mentioned that uh, it is about the uh, health uh, of the people of Maharashtra and people, uh, you know, can't really afford to lower the guard because, of course, there is fear that after Omicron there can be another variant too. I can assure the, uh, your viewers that you know the pragmatic way with which the Maharashtra government is functioning in last two years, Honorable Health Minister, Deputy Health, uh, Honorable Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, you know, these are very pragmatic people. I have seen they listen to us, that is, experts in the public health, clinicians, and everyone, and then make up their mind. So it is not at a spur of moment this government is going to mm. function. I can guarantee you, amongst all the states in the country, okay. this is one state government which has given a lot of importance to the science and to the expert. The task forces which are functioning in the state of Maharashtra, there is no other state government who can really come to that particular level. So it's not because I'm from Maharashtra, but I know the entire okay. country. So this is one part. Number okay. two, what government will have to do now is from the perspective of public health, monitoring of the entire epidemic uh, pandemic hmm. situation by way of ins ensuring that surveillance activities, hmm. including the viral surveillance activities, you know, accelerated and increased so that early warning signals are picked up faster. 
Number two, we should be fully prepared as a part mm. of the health system, both in public sector and in private sector, that if there is going to be a kind of a situation where there will be fourth wave or new variants that mm. have come up, we, we should not go get uh, or we should not feel that we could have done one these things in a proper fashion. Preparedness is going to be extremely critical okay. and ensuring that preparedness level will be very, very important. Right. And amongst all these things, Use of okay, mass. Dr. Dalvai also means. wants to respond, but before that, let me, Dr. Salumke, I'm just interrupting you there. Dr. Dalvai also wants to respond, but before that, I have two viewers, in fact, joining us as well. Let's quickly hear what they have to say. Dr. Rajesh Shah from Mumbai, good evening. Thank you for calling us here on Mirror Now. What is it that you want to say? Uh, well, good evening, everyone. In fact, in my view, uh, uh, you know, the stopping the use of the mask is not at all indicated in a city like Mumbai or in the state of Maharashtra or even in India. <laughs> Because I believe that with great difficulty and huge effort, the population in our country has learned how to use the mask and how to make the social distancing. The moment you stop, uh, uh, the moment you ask them to stop wearing the mask, there will be a lot of laxity. People will even not maintain the social distancing. So this is this could be a disaster, especially if there is a fourth wave coming in. Uh, we have seen that in many other countries like Japan and all. Wearing the mask has been... It's not the right way. time to drop this mask mandate. <clears throat> All right, Dr. Shah, appreciate you joining us here on Mirror Now this evening and sharing with us your perspective. We have Roshan Lal Goel joining us from Kurukshetra as well. Good evening. Uh, thank you for calling us here on Mirror Now. What is it that you want to say? Yes, good evening to everyone. I just want to share my views with you. And my views are that it needs to be critically ascertained whether wearing a mask reduces the chances of catching infection. Since in most of the public rallies, uh, huge gatherings are seen, and most of them are found wearing no mask, and hardly, no study has been conducted to this regard, whether when so many people get together, whether they cause, uh, in the real sense, they spread the disease. And uh, most, in our country, right. most of the days we see that in most shops, that the notices are pasted that everybody is supposed to wear masks, but nobody bothers whether somebody is wearing or not. It is just a formality which is being done, and it is right. being breathed with, uh, with impunity, and 80% of the people don't wear masks, and still they are going about their work without uh, contracting any disease. So it needs to be... All right. All right, Mr. Goyal, thank you for calling us here on Mirror Now this evening and sharing with us your perspective. I'm completely out of time, but Dr. Samir Dalvai, I want to give you the last word because you wanted to respond earlier. 30 seconds, sir. Quickly, the things we really must focus on now, keeping the mask in place, is the psychosocial impact of the lockdown and the pandemic and even post-COVID health of the citizens, especially children. I think there's a huge amount of anxiety, depression, irritability, and so many other issues like post-traumatic stress disorder that we haven't been focusing on. I'm glad your channel has been taking this up. And I think we should end this mask controversy for now. Let the mask be on for now. Let us start focusing on the mental health and the psychosocial impact of uh, the COVID lockdown on our citizens, especially children. All right, very well said. I appreciate all of you, uh, gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now this evening. We'll see eventually what the government has to say on this particular issue.